Khan Academy, Add and Subtract Fractions, Subtopic, Subtracting Fractions with Unlike Denominators. Three-fourths take away six-twelfths. Now, if you watched the last video, we're going to do the exact same thing that we did before. It's just subtracting instead of um, addition. So three-fourths take away six-twelfths. Okay, and again, I'm going to look for that common denominator. Okay, we definitely could do 4 times 12. However, I'm going to notice that I can do 4 times 3 is 12. So if I do 4 times 3, that gives me 12. So that means I need to do 3 times 3, and that would give me 9. So now I'm thinking of that fraction as 9 twelfths take away 6 twelfths. So 9 take away 6 would be 3, and then my twelfths just stays as twelfths. So 3 twelfths is my answer. 8 6 take away 5 fourths. So 8 6 take away 5 fourths. Okay, and in this case, I can't do a common denominator of 6. I can't change my 4 into a 6 using multiples. So in this case, my best option is to, or my next option, is to multiply my two numbers together. So 4 times 6 is 24, so I'm going to make them both have denominators of 24. Okay, and again, I found that number just by simply multiplying 4 times 6 together. I multiply my two denominators together, and that gives me a common denominator. So then, to figure out my numerators, I need to follow my equivalent fractions. So 4 times 6 is 24, so then I have to do 5 times 6 is 30. 6 times 4 is 24, so 8 times 4 is 32. And then I would say the other big thing that we have to remember is that we're subtracting, not adding this time. So 32 take away 30 is 2, and my denominator stays the same, 24. Now, there are some kiddos out there that might notice you could have changed these both into denominators of 12. 4 times 3 is 12, and 6 times 2 is 12. If you're really great with your multiplication facts, you might notice that, and that's okay. That's great. You'll get the same thing. You'll just get a more simplified um, answer for that. 9 thirds take away. 8 twelfths. Okay, and in this case, I'm going to look and I say, oh my goodness, yay! I can do 3 times 4 is 12. So I can change that into twelfths. So 3 times 4 is 12. 9 times 4 is 36. So then I'm going to kind of get rid of that because I changed it into 36 twelfths. So that's what I'm thinking of now. So then 36 twelfths minus 8 twelfths is going to be 28. So 36 take away 8 is 28, and then twelfths stays the same. 8 fifths minus 1 sixth. And in this case, I cannot change my smaller number into the bigger number, so I'm going to multiply my two denominators together and make it 30 and 30. So I've got my denominator, which is great. Now I've got to change my numerators too. So 5 times 6 is 30. 8 times 6 is 48. And then 6 times 5 is 30. So 1 times 5 is 5. Okay, and then again, big factor here, remember we're subtracting. So 48 take away 5 is 43, and 30, our denominator stays the same. 6 twelfths take away 3 tenths. Okay, now this one is going to be a little bit crazy because I can't 
change my 10 into a 12. And if you use what I've been telling you to do, you're going to say, okay, well, 12 times 10 is 120. And that's definitely doable. It's just that it's a large number. And a lot of times, not a lot of times, sometimes fifth graders get scared by these big fat numbers. Okay. So especially right now when we don't have to simplify, not a big deal. Just use the big number. So 12 times 10 is 120. So 6 times 10 is 60. And then 10 times 12 is 120. And 3 times 12 is 36. So then I'm going to do my subtraction. So if I do 60, take away 36, that's going to be 24. And then I just keep my denominator 120. Okay, and in the future, we'll learn that we, we need to simplify that. We need to get it down to smaller numbers. But for right now, we're just working on the basic concept. So 8 thirds minus 6 fourths. I'm going to change those both into a common denominator of 12 because 4 times 3 is 12. So here, 4 times 3 is 12, so I need to do 6 times 3, which is 18, to make sure I'm getting an equivalent fraction. 3 times 4 is 12, so 8 times 4 is 32, to make sure I'm getting that equivalent fraction. Okay, And then now that I have common uh, denominators, I can do my subtraction. 32 take away 18 would be 14, and my denominator of 12 stays the same. 9 eighths minus 5 twelfths. Okay, and they gave us some big numbers again. Now, there's definitely multiple ways you can do this. If you're really great in your math skills, you might notice that you can change these both into 24 fourths, okay? Because eight times three is 24, so nine times three is 27. And then 12 times two is 24. And five times two is 10. So you would notice that you can do both out of 24. However, there's definitely a lot of kiddos that just like to use that same strategy of multiplying the two numbers together. And you can definitely do that. You're just going to get some larger numbers. So if I do 12 times 8, it's 96. So here's another way I can do it. So kind of ignore that. Ignore this middle column. So if I did 8 times 12, it would be 96. And then I would have to do 9 times 12, which is 108. And then 12 times 8 is 96. And 5 times 8 is 40. Now in this case, in Khan Academy and in life, either of these answers are going to be correct. This middle column will give you a little more of a simplified answer than the bigger column. Okay, But either of them are going to give you correct answers. So in this case, I'm going to do 27 take away 10 which is 17 24ths, okay? But if you did 108 take away 40 and put that answer over 96, that would also be correct for this problem.